Welcome to Starship UK, high in orbit around the Earth, and the setting for the uh, somewhat unsatisfying storyline, The Beast Below. Yes, it was rather... What, amazing? Stupendous? Original? A tour de force? No, Doctor. Bit of a letdown, really. Honestly, the first place you take me in time and space is a jumped-up disc world riding on the back of a giant space turtle. Star Whale! It's a totally different situation! Well, not really. You know, come to think of it, didn't they have a meaty Star Whale in Torchwood? Hmm, are you going to clear up all this water? They're not water, they're Gallifreyan time gin. I need it to lubricate. The TARDIS is chameleon circuit? No, 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 my time weasel throat. You think I do this job sober? Hmm, well, maybe Dr. Weasel perhaps had explained many things, like the Doctor going from irascible to dotty to childlike to befuddled in the blink of an eye. He's simply an alco doc. Yeah, actually, I did think the Doctor was utterly brilliant. He stole every scene he was in. Uh, Amy's acting was quite sick, too. Um, do you mean slick? No, no, I know what I mean. Now go and take a dip in the pool, you flipping honk. And believe you me, Time Weasels know all about bad smells. After all, what do you think all those clouds in the Time Vortex are made of, eh? Oh, that feels a whole lot better. Hey, Doctor, was it just me, or did the episode feel as a whole, well, um, a bit of a wasted opportunity? The smiley plastic men looked threatening, but were underused. Liz Tem was awesome at first glance, but, you know, she quickly fizzled out to forgettability. Shh! Are you still leaking time gas again, Doctor? You know it'll cause more lightning strikes. No, 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 Amy. I mean, keep the noise down. I've uh, taken on an extra passenger who's a bit sensitive to criticism. Oh, no. Not Adric again. Who's future space queen? Oh, your majesty. What a pleasure it is to meet you. How kind of you, Miss Duckpond. Now what were we discussing? Nothing important, ma'am. Ah, uh, your worshipfulness. Can I ask you about your three-faced plastic men of doom? And there's something about them that's nagging at me. You may, my dear Sir Doctor. Did Mac buy electronics whip them up for you, or did the Autons have a going out of business sale? You cheeky time weasel. Those were manufactured in the finest factories Tower Block Essex had to offer. Oh, they were made in the UK. That's why they were so crap then. Yes, I've heard those autons are plastic fantastic. They'd have been much better. I've never been so insulted in all my life. Hang around with me, baby, and that'll soon change. <laughs> I thought she'd never leave. Yeah, quite. Now, we haven't even touched on the Star Wars trash compactor homage in the middle of the episode. Yes, it makes me wonder what other sci-fi nods we're going to see this season. Captain Weasel, the star whale is hailing us. Oh, damn it, Spock. I'm a doctor, not a captain. You could have fooled me. Well, put him on screen then. Oh, I do hope we're not going to have to use love as a weapon. Again. I come in peace to save the crying children of Starship UK. Oh, crap! It's Star Trek 4 all over again! Serve the Prime Directive! Open fire on the visors! Check out the fucking torpedo that is blow off the visor! Ha ha! Actually, uh, that wasn't so far from the Doctor's solution. Kill the big whale without doing too much thinking. Yes. Amy also seemed to be able to jump to some pretty amazing conclusions right off the top of her little head. Yes, uh, it's unusual for her companion to do so much of the Doctor's heavy thinking for him so early in her tenure. Oh well, chin up Doctor Weasel. we've got Daleks next week and Jabba the Hutt. What? Oh, you mean Churchill. You know, much as I like the foretaste of next week, it did rather feel like we'd run out of plot for the episode 2 and we were frantically filling in time. Hmm, they might as well have ended on a musical number. I mean, that would have filled a bit of time up. Hmm, they didn't, but it ain't gonna stop us. Hit it, Mr. Spock! <laughs>